Hi guys, this is AC Game. I'm back with another video on Nikkei Goddess of Victory. Now, with the announcement for the next um, event coming out, a lot of people have been having a discussion between like summoning for the summer characters or summoning for the near collaboration. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about stuff you need to take into account and factor into your decision on whether you want to summon for the summer characters as well as or skip the near collaboration characters. Now, I will say this, we are not sure right now on whether the summer characters characters are going to be summer limited however i can say there is a high chance it is going to be a limited character we've only got to one batch of limited characters before that was winter so it makes sense for their summer characters to be also limited characters and limited characters do not get added into the standard banner and we haven't gotten a character like that in a while so I honestly it makes sense that the summer characters are going to be limited characters now if we take a look at the near collaboration characters now we don't know when this is coming out however actually they said first no they said second half of this year so second half of this year and i honestly predicted it was going to be in july or um july july june August, July or August. Initially, I thought June, but then I actually forgot about summer characters. And then I realized, okay, summer characters, I don't think they're going to be... Actually, they might do it, though. So, I know a lot of people are worried about summoning for the um, summer character and then having a update where it releases the near collaboration straight after. Now, I'm not sure whether the devs are going to do that. I feel like in terms of getting people to spend, that could be the best option for them. But at the same time, they will get a lot of people annoyed and the community will be in a huge uproar if they did that. Imagine getting a hype character, a hype limited character, and then the next banner to come out is also a you know hype limited character. I think they can't do that at the same time. And also in terms of like building up hype and keeping hype for your game, I don't think you need to do back-to-back -back hype stuff. You need to do back to you need to do one hype event, a little slow one, and then another hype. Um, events to build up or keep um, hype around your game so personally i don't think near collaboration is going to be coming out straight after the summer character you don't have to worry about that however one consideration is how long left before the near collaboration is going to be released because they announced the near collaboration during a six months anniversary so i honestly feel like yes the near collaboration could be close but not as close as many people think so i feel like august so maybe we'll get like three actually i feel like three to two events before the near collaboration so within that three events that says three events you get about 30 summons free and i'm assuming when the near collaboration comes out there'll be another 10 pulls so four uh four multi um hopefully some new ways to get some gems or saving your, saving your gem resources so yeah a few consideration is whether the summer characters are going to be good now personally i feel like as they are limited character you want to go for them now obviously i'm just saying this flat out in terms of not taking into account whether you're free to play or a whale or whatever but as limited characters you don't know what they will be able to do in the future and since we know the summer character the winter character sorry rupee as well as the Anne marie they haven't gotten a banner since the first time they ran so if it means that if you miss out on the summer characters and it turns out a character gets released in the future that actually makes this with uh, summer characters 10 times better and become absolutely meta and now you don't have the option to summon for the summer character you have basically kind of screwed up because those summer characters you don't know when they're going to come out and we actually don't know how they're going to run this banner to be honest so We've gotten two limited banners before, well, one limited banner before, which was the um, winter one. So they might actually include the winter characters into this summon as well, into this banner. They might include the winter and the summer in one banner so that they can, you know, you can have a chance to pull some of the off banner limited characters that you guys have skipped out on. However, if they don't do that, that basically increases the value of this summon or this v v value of this battle. You don't want to be skipping it. So if you're free to play, I honestly will say, well, we need to take a look at the skills first. Now, some characters, you can instantly take a look at the skills and realize, yeah, they're just going to be absolutely bad, like garbage character. Then you don't have to summon for them. But I am hoping, and with the recent um, survey we got in the game, which talked about why would you summon for limited characters, the reasons, I'm pretty sure a lot of people said the way they look, and their gameplay in terms of how good they are in game and recently we've gotten steady increase in characters that are actually good 
in, in the past we've got a bunch of characters that were just mediocre like honestly mediocre in terms of changing the meta since the beginning of the game there has been barely any um what's called power creep in this game which i actually love i absolutely love but i feel like with summer characters or limited characters you have to give them a level of um ut utility or level of goodness that would make people summon for them besides just being limited characters so i have a sneaking feeling that one of this limited characters is going to be very very good i have a sneaking feeling this is just pure speculation but honestly in terms of increasing revenue not just making a lewd character and releasing it i don't think that would be enough to make a character um, for you guys to summon because take a look at the recent character we got um was Rosanna. She looks absolutely amazing, but everyone just says skip because, yeah, she might look cool, but she sucks in game. No one is doing that. So honestly, I feel like if they want to make money from the summer events, they definitely need to make one of them very, very good. And to do that will probably be to make them a very one of the character a very, very strong damage dealer. Now, finger cross. Well, I'm hoping actually this is my self will wish. I am hoping that Mary is going to be the best one of the best damage dealer or oh, in the game one of the best like on par with some of the pilgrim characters we have i just i just hope because he looks absolutely amazing and i just want to you know carry on using her in the game um a lot of people skipped out on this winter event um winter characters and they regret it because Anne marie is one of the few characters that have the revive mechanic in the game there's only like one other character and that character is a pilgrim character so a lot of people did skip out but they probably regretted not pulling for Anne Marie right now. So I honestly feel like limited characters you want to summon for, however, take into account near collaboration. They are also going to be limited and more limited than this winter and um, summer character because collaborations, the chances of them rerunning is close to zero percent. So, yes, if you miss out on a near collaboration character, more than likely you will not be able to get them in the future. However, there is a chance, well, there is going to be a way for them to release the limited summer characters in the near future so in terms of that i definitely would say as a free to play player your better option to save in would be to go for the near collaboration because those characters will probably never come to the game like they have like a zero percent chance of coming back to the game after the collaboration goes away but with the limited characters like the summer the winter there is a chance for them coming out in fact there's like a 70 80 percent chance of them coming out in the future future so even if you skip on them now maybe you would have to wait like a year or like six months for you to be able to pull them but they will still be available in the game so maybe as a free-to-play player you just decided and you know accepted that that's going to be what you guys are going to be doing however like i said if one of them turns out to be amazing you probably just want to get that one character two might be hard or will be hard for free-to-play players but aiming for that one particular that is good would probably be the best option so i recommend that you guys don't summon straight away so when his limited character come out don't summon absolutely do not summon wait for the wills wait for the content creators like myself and the other content creators for nick case to make videos on the character and tell you guys whether or not the character is good that is what i would absolutely recommend for you guys to do now in terms of when the near collaboration is going to be coming out i still think we still have like one to two months after this or maybe not two months but like maybe over one month for the near collaboration to be released and then you obviously want to grab both of them honestly not just one you for the near collaboration you want to grab both of them even if you're free to play i don't care you need to grab both of them because you don't know what would happen in the future if one of them becomes absolutely meta like when um when makima got released she was okay she was like not really need to summon for but with the release of characters like sakura um sorry um which other characters um can't really remember but with the release of certain characters it now makes makima one of the best characters to counter train and um in terms of power power for some reason is rated sss in um pvp so maybe she has her use there currently right now i'm not using any well, I'm not using Makima or Power, to be honest, but I still would recommend you guys, you know, making sure that you are able to grab both of the collaboration characters, but at the same time, definitely grab one of the summer character if one of them is absolutely amazing, but you do need to know as a free-to-play player, your chances are limited, but for me, obviously, if you go over to here, I have a lot of gold miners tickets saved up, but I am thinking of actually going in on summoning. So, 
what for the main character i want and we'll be going in and do like two multis or three multis to try and get them without actually using my gold marriage ticket now i am hoping that mary is the first to be released because uh, she looks fantastic she looks absolutely amazing i love that her eyes are open, um, closed and i love her design we got a new release in terms of um art for the event and it looks absolutely fantastic now very very nice character um how many skins will be released i'm not really too sure from the poster we saw it looked like three skins but i also need to take into account that they're going to be like a summer um battle pass where a specific character will be in there and i also need to take into account one free skin because i there is a high chance not the highest but there is a slight chance of them giving out one free skin i don't think there's an issue giving out one free skin if you're going to release like five or four um skins in the game so yeah that's all i really wanted to talk about in today's video as a free to play player you definitely want to be picking with your resources but at the same time although the characters are going to look absolutely fantastic when they get released you want to be very very slow with your resources wait and see near collaboration is not going to be like three months away or something like that it's definitely going to be soon but not as soon as many people think so maybe one month one and a half months before they released in their collaboration i feel like since we don't know the exact dates of it coming out a lot of people are like worried about summoning for this um characters but uh, yeah like i said if i make a video talking about one of the characters being absolutely meta changing and broken as like as good as the bunny characters then yeah i guess you need to summon for that particular character it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out